He was the author of the Encyclopedia de Rerum Naturis. He also wrote treatises on education and grammar and commentaries on the Bible. He was one of the most prominent teachers and writers of the Carolingian age, and was called Preceptor Germania, or the Teacher of Germany, on the Roman calendar. He is celebrated on 4 February and listed as Sanctus, though the online version of the Catholic Encyclopedia of nearly a century earlier lists him as Beatus Life. Rabanus was born of noble parents in Mainz. The date of his birth remains uncertain, but in 801 he received a deacon's order at Fulda in Hesse, where he had been sent to school. In the following year, at the insistence of Ratgar, his abbot, he went together with Hyman to complete his studies at Tours. He studied there under Alcuin, who in recognition of his diligence and purity gave him the surname of Morus, after the favorite disciple of Benedict, Saint Morus. Returning to Fulda two years later, he was entrusted with the principal charge of the school, which under his direction became one of the most preeminent centers of scholarship and book production in Europe, and sent forth such pupils as Wallafried Strabo, Servetus Lupus of Ferriers, and O. T. Efred of Eisenberg. At this period he probably compiled his excerpt from the grammar of Prashan, a popular textbook during the Middle Ages. According to Butler's Lives of the Saints, Rabanus ate no meat and drank no wine. In 814 Rabanus was ordained a priest. Shortly afterwards, apparently on account of disagreement with Ratgar, he had to withdraw for a time from Fulda. This banishment has long been understood to have occasioned a pilgrimage to Palestine, based on an allusion in his commentary on Joshua. The passage in question is taken from Origen's homily XIV in Librum Jesu Nave. It is Origen, not Rabanis, who was in Palestine. He returned to Fulda on the election of a new abbot in 817, upon whose death in 822 he himself became abbot. He was efficient and successful in this role until 842, when, in order to secure greater leisure for literature and for devotion, he resigned and retired to the neighboring cloister of St. Petersburg. In 847 Rabanus was again constrained to enter public life by his election to succeed Otgar in the Archbishopric of Mainz. He died at Winkle on the Rhine in 856. Works Rabanus are works, many of which remain unpublished comprise commentaries on scripture and various treatises relating to doctrinal and practical subjects, including more than one series of homilies. In De Institutioner Clericorum he brought into prominence the views of Augustine and Gregory the Great as to the training which was requisite for a right discharge of the clerical function. One of his most popular and enduring works is a spectacular collection of poems centered on the cross called De Laudibus Sancti Crucis, a set of highly sophisticated poems that present the cross in word and image, even in numbers. Among the others may be mentioned the De Universo Libri XXII, Sive Etymologerim Opus, a kind of dictionary or encyclopedia, heavily dependent upon Isidore of Seville's etymologies, designed as a help towards the typological, historical and mystical interpretation of scripture, the De Sacris Ordinibus, the De Disciplina Ecclesiastica and the Martyrologium. All of them are characterized by erudition and includes Veni Cre Creator Spiritus, a hymn to the Holy Spirit, often sung at Pentecost and at ordinations. In the Annals of German Philology a special interest attaches to the Glossaria Latino Theodisca, a commentary, Super Porphyrium, printed by Cousin in 1836 among the Erivrages in Edits de Bayard, and assigned both by that editor and by Harauta Rabanti Smorus, is now generally believed to have been the work of a disciple. In 2006 Germans marked the 1150th anniversary of his death, especially in Mainz and in Fulda. Highlights of the celebrations included the display of Codex Vaticanus Reginensis Latinus 124, an extremely rare loan by the Vatican to Mainz of a spectacular manuscript containing De Laudibus Sancti Crucis, 
The anniversary also saw the publication of no fewer than three book-length studies of Morris and his work. Bibliography The first nominally complete edition of the works of Rabanus Morris was that of Georges Colvener, the opera Omnia Form Vols. CVIICXII of Min's Petrologerie Cursus Completus. The De Universo is the subject of Compendium der Naturwissenschaften and der Schule zu Fulder im IX. Gerundet. Recent critical editions are available of some of his works. The Sermon in Proprietate Sive Opus De Universo, edited by Priscilla Throop, Vols. Charlotte V. Medievalsums, Cop. 2009. Priscilla Throop, Trans, Rabanis Morris, The Universo, The Peculiar Properties of Words and the Mystical Significance, 2 vols, Charlotte, V.T., Medievalms, 2009, Exposition in Matthew, edited by B. Lofstedt, 2 vols, Corpus Christianorum, Continuation Medievalis 174-174a, Turnout. Breples, 2000, In Onum Sancti Crucis, edited by M. Perra, 2 vols, Corpus Christianorum, Continuation Medievalis 100-100a, Turnout, Breples, 1997, Martyrologium, Liber de Computo, edited by J. McCullough and W. Stevens, Corpus Christianorum, Continuation Medievalis 44, Turnout, Breples, 1997, Rabanus Morris, Der Institutioner Clericorum, Study und Edition, Freiburger Bay Trägers er Mittelalterlichen Geschichte 7, Frankfurt am Main, 1996, of the Der Institutioner Clericorum is listed as, in preparation, by Breples, publications on the occasion of the 1150th anniversary of his death. Hans Jürgen Kotzer, ed. Rabanis Morris. Oftensbure and Eins Karolingischen Gelehrten. Mainz. Philipp von Zabin, 2006. ISBN 3 8053 3613 6. 120 pages, 77 color ills, 8b, w ills. Contains full color illustrations of Morris's cross poems and the transcriptions and partial translations. Stephanie Harlander, Rabanis Morris zum Kennen lernen. Ein Les Buch mit einer Einführung in Sein Leben und Werk. Publication N. Bist im Mainz. Darmstadt. Wissenschaftliche Buch Gesellschaft 2006. ISBN 9783-934450-24-0, 184 pages, many B. W. Ills. Collection of texts by Morris translated into German, with extensive introduction to Morris's life and work. Franz J. Felton, ed. Rabanis Morris. Gelehrte, Abd von Fulder und Erzbischof von Mainz. Mainz. Publication N. Bist in Mainz, 2006. ISBN 9783-934450-264. 196 pages, for color ills. Collection of historical essays. See also Raymond Kotju Wertzeichnis der Handschriften mit den Werken des Robanus Morris, Hanscher Buchhandlung, Hanover.